Hello everybody, welcome to Rooster Sprouts. In this video, I'm going to talk about the life cycle of a ladybug. So let's get started. So many of you guys know that in our channel, we like to inform and educate our viewers of the topic of garden insects. Also, if you would like to learn more about garden insects, please check the links in the description. In one of our videos, we mentioned how important it is to have a ladybug in your garden. Sometimes, people even buy ladybugs to keep their garden healthy. But, if you have these insects in your garden naturally, then it will bring much pleasure to you and your garden. For this year, we decided to not do pesticides in our garden. With that being said, in our garden, it brought a lot of beneficial and non-beneficial insects. One beneficial insect in our garden was the ladybug. As you can see, in our garden, we have a lot of ladybugs due to healthy environment. After a few days, we've seen ladybugs lay eggs on the leaf. Ladybug eggs are yellow and tiny, so some people get confused on aphid eggs and ladybug eggs because they are identical. This is the ladybug egg. When a ladybug egg hatches, you should expect an alligator-shaped larva. This is what a ladybug looks like before its adult stage. Also, ladybug larvae like to eat on aphids. Now, after 8 to 10 days, the larva will place itself on a surface. This is not a negative sign, but a positive one, because it's now telling us that the larva is transitioning to the next stage. After it is finished freezing, you should expect a dome on the larvae. Specifically, this stage is called the pupae stage. In the pupae stage, you should see that the ladybug is an orange or yellow color with black markings. In our garden, we have one particular place where the larvae in various different stages love to stay. Before I talk about the final stage of the ladybug, I want to list a few facts about ladybugs first. Like how ladybugs love to hibernate during the winter, and as soon the spring comes along, they mate. And also, ladybugs have a soft exoskeleton like they do in the earlier stages of their life. So, they are vulnerable to predators. There's something very particular with this ladybug because since it's hanging, it is now transitioning its shell into a dome. I want you to look carefully so you could see how the larva is transitioning. What you're seeing now is a hanging larvae. In the next few moments, you will see the larvae push itself up and creates its own dome.
Wow, this is what I was talking about. This position will remain for the next few days. I am very fascinated and excited to see this life cycle happening in our garden. Finally, here is the adult stage of the ladybug. Soon after they transitioned into the adult stage, their cuticles are very soft, which makes them very vulnerable. But after a few months, their cuticles start to develop and harden. After a few weeks, you can see that the dots have developed and the color of the ladybug has darkened. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. I will talk to you guys in the next garden insect video and I wish you all a very happy new year. Bye!